to have a um, an approved project plan for it. So to back up a little bit, um, states are allowed to use it for uh, primarily broadband infrastructure, but basically any project that directly enables work, education, and health monitoring. So um, that could be broadband infrastructure. It could be broadband accessibility stuff. It could be uh, really improving community centers, community schools, health centers to enable, as long as it enables all three of those things, work, education, and health monitoring, then it is fair game. Um, it also puts a, a few requirements on states, but not a whole bunch. So. Um, similar to what we saw in the local fund, states are supposed to, if they build infrastructure, um, it should meet or exceed um, 100 symmetrical service. Um, it should prioritize last mile service. It should prioritize fiber. Um, it should prioritize investment in infrastructure that's owned or co-owned um, by localities, by nonprofits, by co-ops. Again, there's nothing here requiring states to do this. So a lot of it is going to be down to the individual states. So this is this is one of those things where your results may vary depending on what state you're in and what the politics look like. Um, but I, I think there's a lot of room here for very broadband friendly state administrations um, and states that are doing a good job working with their regions and their communities to do some good investment here. Um, and there's so much flexibility in there for them that if they can dream it, they can kind of do it. Um, it. It doesn't even fully forbid states from investing in areas that have some amount of existing service or that have other federal commitments. They just sort of gently encourage them to coordinate around those things and, and not duplicate existing federal funding. So um, there's going to be a lot of, I think, importance in the federal review process. States are going to have to submit their plans and have them approved in order to access their funding. Um, but as those plans start coming out and being submitted to the federal government, I think that'll be a good chance for all of us to look at what states are doing and, and compare across state lines and see where cool things are happening and hopefully encourage more coordination on a regional level and, and between states that are doing this with this new fund, states that are thinking about ways to use their existing um, coronavirus relief dollars for broadband and then like marrying that to what cities and counties are doing too.